And our question for Australia, for me to answer for you, is what are the most popular tree species in Australia? Uh, it is pretty diverse. I'm sure you're very interested more in the, uh, the native species that we are working with here. G'day viewers, Tony Bebb from Brisbane, Australia, helping Oscar and the team celebrate 20 years of Bonsai Empire being online and supporting the international bonsai community. Congratulations, since we can only hope there's plenty, plenty more. Uh, part of those celebrations is that the view, uh, followers are posting questions to people from around the world to uh, ask various things. And our question for Australia, for me to answer for you, is what are the most popular tree species in Australia? Um, so because it's the popular tree species, I'll start with a bit of my garden, which is a, a little more native limited, I have to admit. Um, uh, they're using them much better throughout the country than I am, but I'm using a lot of ficus and things like that, and calistum and melaleuca. Um, but ficus is definitely my, my uh, favorite, I guess, up here. Uh, suits our, our subtropical climate very well. Uh, the biggest uh, diversity, I guess, in Australia is climate. It's a big country and I'm very much subtropical up here in Queensland and then Victoria is very four seasonal and gets a nice autumn and winter so they can grow a lot of cold climate species. And over to the west, uh, Western Australia, even South Australia, it's hot and dry, but still cool and, and cold in, in, in the winter, etc. too. So very diverse species that we can use because of that. I'm probably more limited up here because of that, because it is subtropical and two seasons here, one being about eight or 10 months uh, and not really having a winter at all uh, certainly limits us. Um, I guess the predominant species throughout the country, exotics wise, would have to be elms and maples and junipers and pines and various things that have been brought in to the country over the years. Um, uh, and I guess then the varieties within those species just vary a fair bit depending on what state you're in and, and how cold climate it can be. So, uh, like elms, I can do Chinese elm up here quite well. Um, a little bit of Japanese grey bark elms, Alcova, um, but down south they can do English elm and a number of other things as well. Um, maple here, I've got trident maple, I can grow that okay, um, but not much more in the, in the way of maples, whereas they have a full range of obviously the Japanese maples down south, etc. Um, for that we use uh, liquid amber uh, a little bit for ours up here for deciduous because they can give us some colour and they can handle the heat. Um, lots of variety of uh, flowering varieties of like azaleas and camellias. Uh, Bougainvillea is very popular here as well. One of my favourites is Bougainvillea certainly. Um, my old girl there, another white one here. Um, they're beautiful for us. They can flower most of the year around. Um, Satsuki is a, yeah, lots of them been brought into the country over many years as well. Lots of different varieties of them being used throughout the country too. Uh, cedars down south, uh, we have, you know, uh, radiata pine, the Monterey pine, we have swamp cypress, taxodiums, uh, another one here. Uh, lots and lots of different things, uh, not just native figs also, but a lot of ficus uh, varieties being brought into the country as well, a little willow leaf fig, uh, salicifolia, nerifolia. Um, you know, things like that, like a Benjamina as well, so Virens, many, many different varieties. But, you know, we do have a lot of natives on top of that as well. And we'll go for a walk inside and deal for some of those. But simply sticking to uh, my favorites, I guess, uh, my, th my three, I guess, uh, uh, the Juniper, uh, Pine and, and Bougainvillea. Um, uh, I can grow them quite well up here. They can grow strong, uh, can be limiting in some ways, but that's definitely my favorite species. Uh, I've always, always had a soft spot for uh, Japanese black pine, Kurumatsu. Um, definitely my favorite species. Let's go for a bit of a walk inside and I'll show you some, uh, some of the native species. Hey guys, so inside now, I thought I'd show you a couple of pickies of uh, some of the other species and I've enlisted some help from around the country here because obviously I don't grow all the species that are in the country. So thank you very much to Quentin Valentine from Victoria and Diane Bookout and the team from West Australia and the Bonsai Society for providing me with some pictures just so I can show you some bits and pieces too. First few are mine, this is uh, the ficus, I think as I said before, is probably the most used uh, variety of tree in, in the country. There's very, very many different species. This is ficus oblique, this one, which is what we call our Queensland small leaf fig. Um, there's pretty much a fig for every state here and, and multiple varieties as well. So uh, a lot of them are very similar and very similar habits, but they're all very, very good. Um, this is one I've had for my entire bonsai life. 
Uh, juniper, the common garden juniper, I spoke briefly about outside. Uh, it's just the juniper procumbens nana. I think for me, the ficus and the juniper, this one, are the two most common used uh, species of trees in this country and the diversity of, of uh, all over the country and how well they're, they're used there as well. Uh, Bougainvillea as well too, uh, as we spoke briefly about too, uh, used for a lot throughout the country too. So very, very great tree to use for bonsai. Olive, uh, a very collectible and invasive species in this country. Uh, this is just what we call wild olive, Olea africanus. Um, so not even the good fruiting variety has made its way to this country and it uh, grows quite wild through uh, South Australia and Western Australia where it's quite dry but used quite a lot throughout the country. This is one from Western Australia that you'll see uh, in the bark in the World Bonsai Convention when we get there. Uh, Banksia serrata, back into our Australian native species now, these uh, certainly courtesy of, of the rest of the country for these pictures, thank you Quentin. It's Banksia serrata, we call old man Banksia, a beautiful tough old tree, really uh, quite coarse uh, serrated leaf. Banksia marginata uh, and a few other varieties are used quite a lot. They're collectible because they have a nice lignin tuber, so they're, they're quite easy to use uh, from the ground uh, and then, and then uh, very tough for cutting back, etc. too. Casuarina, uh, known <laughs> widely as Australian pine, but unfortunately not used quite so much here. Uh, Ala casuarina, uh, this one's Torolosa versus Equicetifolia, which is the one that's used most overseas, Cunningham eye as well. We're learning more about them and starting to use them more and more and more, and they have certainly many great features for bonsai. Uh, Syzygium, this one Smithii, we call lily pilly. Syzygium is used in a lot of countries around the world too, I know. Um, excellent tree variety for, for bonsai, with small leaf, small fruit, small flower. Um, tough, good cutback, very versatile tree, used a lot for hedging and stuff, so it, it gets very, very compact tree. Excellent specimen for bonsai. Eucalyptus, eucalyptus, uh, not so great as bonsai, but a few varieties starting to be used now. This is our koala food. Uh, this one's Eucalyptus Nicolai, uh, and is probably one of the more common varieties used throughout the country also. Um, not so commonly used, but I wanted to put it anyway, a bit of a Tasmanian icon, hue and pine, uh, the Lagostrovus franklinii, uh, used a lot in Tasmania, of course, where it's endemic, but also through um, Victoria now being used quite a lot. Um, an interesting tree that presents uh, some good uses for bonsai. Leptosperma, and this one over here, garden. Uh, tea tree, common tea tree, uh, used a lot too, very collectible now as well, learning more about root management, which was our problem early on. Uh, excellent small leaf, uh, coastal tolerant, uh, excellent, excellent little tree. Kunzia, another spin-off uh, native variety as well, uh, being used a lot more now. Some really nice collectible specimens being used uh, from various areas being collected from private property. Um, that's usually about the most, only the way we can get them. Uh, Callistamon, which is now a variety uh, excluded, uh, been ex absorbed into Melaleuca, but we still like Callistamon. It's, uh, a, to me, very a little bit different to Melaleuca. Stronger tree, beautiful bottle brush kind of flower, you know, um, beautiful bright red, uh, a number of different varieties as well, very good for bonsai. Melaleuca, probably the number one species uh, apart from Ficus, I think, for diversity around the country and how good they are for bonsai. Very, very uh, collectible as well, uh, cut back very hard, uh, very, very small leaf, very, very small flower. Uh, in the West, I think probably the king of the metals is the raffia phyla that they get over there. Uh, collectible trees, again, these one, this has been collected from uh, sort of swampy areas, what we call paper bark, um, because of the beautiful paper-like bark and was used as paper years ago. Uh, they muscle up beautifully on the trunks. They're very, very nice uh, and you see a lot in the West. This is another one from Western Australia. So I appreciate the assistance from around the country and hope we've given you a bit of an insight uh, as to what we do do in Australia. Uh, bonsai is very, very popular in this country and we're always looking for different species. So good luck. Happy bonsai.